all right let's add a bezier curve let me edit it delete the vertices and draw another shape create a new geometry node setup add a resample curve node let's give it a length of about 0.2 now just to add a little bit of variation in it let's add a set position node let's add a noise texture and vector math node let's set this to 4d and plug the color to vector and change it to subtract subtract 0.5 value now duplicate it and set it to multiply now you can add any value and plug it to offset so it gives the curve a little bit of noise let's reduce the scale now let's add a set curve radius node let's add a spline parameter node plug the factor to radius and let's add a curve circle and a curve to mesh node plug the set position to set curve radius and the curve to curve to mesh this is the final geometry now plug the curve circle to profile curve now this comes inverted so let's add a float curve node to control it let's invert it we'll change it afterwards for now let it be something like this okay so before proceeding further let's create some uvs for this so let's capture attribute for both of these so for our curve and our curve circle and this float point value we are going to use spline parameter again and plug the factor in both of the value sockets now let's add a combine xyz node plug the attribute from the curve to x and from the curve circle to y this vector value we'll use as uv so in the group output go to the output node select this vector let's name it uv now in the modifier if you go to output attributes here again we are going to name it uvgn you can name it anything we are going to use this name in our shader editor for the material i am using this material from blender kit it is a procedural material however i have baked the color normal and roughness info and made it a pbr material so this is our simple pbr setup for any material let's plug this material in our geo node so let's add a set material node and give it the material so right now the uvs are not aligned so in the material shader editor let's add a attribute node and here we'll give the same name so uvgn and plug this vector to our mapping node so now uvs are properly mapped 
we can change the shape and size from this mapping node. All right, so this is our setup so far. Now let's add some more roots around this. So for that, I'm going to use a grid. So let's add a grid. Let's give it a size of about 1.5 to 1.5. And just to see these objects together, let's add a join geometry node and join it. So here it is. Uh, let's increase it 2 by 2. Maybe I'm gonna decrease the radius a little bit. Right. Now let's add another curve circle. And let's add a distribute point on faces node. So we are going to distribute these curve circles onto that grid. Now let's add a instance on point node. And plug our curve circle to instance. Let's decrease the density, decrease the radius. You can also give it a poison disk value and give a minimum distance, something like this. Reduce the density even more. Let's increase the radius a bit. And now let's add a variation to the scales of these circles. So let's add a random value node and let it be from 0.2 to 1. Plug it to scale. Now here is our original curve. So I'm gonna again use a set curve node. set curve radius and plug the same curve from this set position to our set curve radius node. Now again I am going to use these two values so float curve and spline parameter plug it to radius and again I am going to use curve to mesh. Now, because these are instances, so I'm going to realize instance. And now, I'll cut this and plug the curve from set curve radius to our curve to mesh and plug these realized instances to the profile curve. Now, let's join it. So here are the curves, we can increase the radius, let's increase the radius as well as the grid size to make them far apart, something like this and also let's decrease the density. Now to tilt, let's add a set curve tilt node, plug it before the curve to mesh node. Now to add the tilt, again I'm going to use the spline parameter node. And let's add a math node. Here I'm going to use a multiply add and plug the factor to first value and plug the output to tilt. So now these two values 
control the tilt so the multiplier value control the tilt angle so this is how you tilt it how much you want and the add in value changes the position of the tilt so set it to wherever you like it now again to create uvs for this i'm going to use the capture attribute node plug it after the realize instance plug the spline parameter factor and another one for the curve and plug the spline parameter factor in here and again I'm gonna take the combine XYZ this goes to X and this goes to Y now we can join these two vectors together so let's add a vector math node and plug these two together and let me change this set material node plug it after the join geometry so now these are all properly materialized all right now let's add some grass and flowers on top of it so here i have created some really basic low poly flowers and this grass and i have put all these objects into one collection here so up to here this setup is for the basic shape now let's add another distribute point on faces node and another instance on point node plug the points to point and drag our collection inside our geometry node editor select separate children and reset children plug the instances to instance and for the mesh we are going to use this join geometry output so this whole mesh but for the selection we are going to select the faces whose normal is pointing upwards so for that we need a normal node let's add a separate xyz node and add a combine xyz node let's plug the z to z and now we'll compare the upward normal so let's add a math node plug it in between and let's say we are going to use greater than 0.4 now plug this output to the selection of distribute point on faces node i'm going to use another join geometry node and let's add these instances here so now we have these instanced but these are overlapping to each other so we need to select this pick instance and also in the distribute point on faces node we can select poison disk and give it a minimum distance something like this and here we can change the density and density factor and again to add a little bit of randomization to scale and rotation we can use this random value node so for scale i'm going to use the simple float value from maybe 0.5 to 1 and for rotation i'm going to use the vector value so i only want the vector rotation in z so i'll plug it in the rotation and from here you can randomize the rotation 
all right so this is the final node setup uh, i have just grouped all of these nodes and just made a comment on top of these to identify which node setup does what and in this i have added these small curves so these outer ones that you see and again i have resampled the curve distributed the curve along the base curve and added a quadratic bezier and with random value nodes i have added the final instances to the basic curve so from this resample curve node we can increase or decrease the number of small curves so if i decrease it i can increase the number of curves something like this and because i have used the quadratic bezier to create these curves we can use these values of xyz to create different shapes you can make it bigger smaller so it gives a additional variation look to it here i have added the uvs in the same way also i have distributed the grass and the flowers separately so here is the grass distribution and here is the flower distribution so that we can control the density individually so this is the density for grass and this is for the flowers and also i have added a trim curve node in the very beginning of all these nodes so this gives a very simple animation type of look of growth so if we control this end value we can animate it as a growing plant Alright, so this is how I created this geometry node setup and this blender file is available to download. I'll put the link in the description. You can download it for free. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.